Boxing Truth here. The Wilder Protection Program continues by WBC. In a not so surprising move, the reports are true. I looked at it, looked into it myself, wanted to see if the WBC actually has officially sanctioned the Dominic Brazil fight against Eric Molina as a final eliminator. The winner of that fight will be the new mandatory to Wilder if Wilder, of course, is successful against Deverne again on November 4th. So everything's all put into place to protect Wilder from a knockout loss. Man, WBC is... I don't know what it is. Whether Heyman's paying him to protect this guy or... I just don't know, but it's so blatant. They're trying to make us, us fans, feel like we're stupid when we see it right in front of us. What WC is doing, protecting this guy, making it, making sure he doesn't have to fight any legitimate contenders, canceling fights, doing whatever it takes to keep this guy's undefeated record intact. What a fraud Deontay Wilder is. So, it's all in motion. There's Wilder's excuse to avoid Dylan White, who actually fought a rated contender his last fight, has fought two rated contenders his last two fights, and really should be more worthy of a mandatory slot. Since Helen Hellenius actually fought guys with winning records going into that fight. Unlike Eric Molina, who was ranked 11th, Brazil is ranked 6 or 7, so they're not even in the top 5. And Dylan White's in the top 3 and has been fighting rated contenders who are within the top 10 of the rankings. Was awarded the silver title at heavyweight, it doesn't automatically guarantee you a mandatory slot. Just because you get a silver title doesn't mean you're automatic, automatically the mandatory. So, a silver title is a silver title. But this is bullshit right here. This is Wilder's excuse to avoid that fight. This is what's going to happen. This is what I predict. If Wilder's successful against Severn on November 4th, which he's heavily favored to do, the WC is going to magically all of a sudden enforce a mandatory against Brazil, which is what Heyman wants, which is what Wilder wants, since he doesn't have to fight Dylan White. Take a, more, more, a really risky fight against a guy who is not going to lay down for him, who is not going to have Heyman in his ear and say, take it easy on Wilder, make sure you don't beat this guy. It's all bullshit. Fraudulent career. Wilder is the most protected hype job in boxing. Brazil is going to possibly beat Eric Molina. Most likely because no network is going to buy a Wilder-Eric Molina rematch. The networks didn't even want to buy wilder Severn, but they had no choice since Ortiz's fight was canceled. But they're not going to be fooled twice. Showtime is... But that's what's going to happen. Brazil's going to beat Molina. It's already set in stone. Wilder's going to beat Severn. Dylan White and Eddie Herring are going to say, What's up? Do you want the fight? Are you going to get a career high offer? Just come to the UK in a real fight. I don't give a shit how much Eamon offers me. I'm not going to lay down. I'm not going to take a dive. We're going to have a real fight. It's a co promoted bout. And Eddie Herring's going to make sure. Dylan White is going to get home court advantage. And it's an opportunity for Wilder to prove that he's a legitimate champion by fighting a decent contender who's coming off some decent wins. But nah, that's not what's going to go down. The WC is going to enforce another mandatory on Wilder, even though it took them two years to enforce this mandatory. And that gives Wilder all the excuse in the world to avoid a fight with Dylan White because he don't want that fight. He's scared of that fight for some reason. Even though he says he'll make easy work of him, he's doing whatever it takes to make sure this fight doesn't happen. 
Heyman's already set the plan, has told WC to make a mandatory, to enforce another mandatory if Brazil gets through Molina. Heyman's going to go to Brazil before the fight. He's going to tell him, look, dog, I'm going to take care of you, but make sure you don't beat Wilder, all right? Take it easy on him. Let him knock you out. Let him hit you hard, and you and you fall. This is my guy. He's the the biggest piece on my chessboard up at the moment since Mayweather is retired. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Just lay down for Wilder. It's an in-house fight. Bullshit. PBC. Not even worth uh, placing a wager because I don't think. Brazil is going to be able to give a real fight. Heyman has that type of power. He can tell you who you're going to fight. He can tell you when you're going to fight. He can even tell you how you're going to fight. And this is what's going to go down. Wilder's opponent, next opponent's already set. And the fraudulent career of Wilder will continue. Protection program at its finest. Congratulations, Wilder. I envy you, Doc. I really wish I, I would have continued my career in boxing. Shit, I could have been a protected hype job. Would have signed with Al Heyman. Made millions of dollars. Fighting hand-picked cannon fodder. I ain't hating on you, Doc. But you a fraud. If I was in your position, I'd probably do the same thing. Keep hand-picking. Keep collecting $1.5 million paid aid dollar paydays instead of taking real fights and proving that you're a real champion that's boxing for you this is boxing truth I'm out